Hey everyone, Kane here, and in this one we have a new event called Summer Amusement Park. So this event is a couple parts as well, because we got Summoner Circle, and you can spend uh, Lenari here, and you can also get Crystal Glasses, all that kind of stuff, as well as you have the Big Spender thing, where you also get Glasses, for spending in this particular event so have to touch on that because it's going to be pretty important but the main one is that is kind of giving a decent decent amount of material so first things first we have the daily login stuff which we do quests we get some of these coupons as well as some basic stuffs which if the previous time that this came up taught us well some of these rewards are actually going to be increasing now i'm not sure if it's gonna be this um custom growth chest which i kind of would appreciate and honestly would love really because i need like 300 000 more of these cast irons so pretty welcome or this custom utility box I i'm not really sure it could even be uh everything in here uh, unfortunately, this one is just a one-time reward, as well as this one is just a one-time reward whenever a, a new event will appear in terms of this one. So, the coupons that we get, we use in this particular event, and we are able to get some prizes. But the main prize, after playing it six times, is we get a special pet. Now, this can be both good and also bad. The thing is, you unlock the pet, which is good, because you're not going to require to spend a lot of money to acquire the pet. However, there is a thing in here, and that thing is that you cannot upgrade the pet rather quite easily. You require the Divine Spirit Stones, and you require about a hundred of them. And I do believe you can acquire some of them from Blooms of the Rebirth, but... I think you can get like a few of them per month. I think even less than 10 if I remember correctly or around 10 if anything per month instead of a lot of, and I do mean a lot of materials. So you may require more than or close to a year to actually be able to use that new pet competitively. Unless of course they're just going to be giving more divine stones or shards for this pet in the future then it can change but at the current way this game stands this reward of you unlocking is good and say can be okay but the fact that you cannot upgrade this pet to five stars is kind of pretty bad and you really do require to use five star pets in pvp because they do have pretty overpowered buffs i mean some pets you could argue you can use four star or so but the star adds quite a lot of stats and i do mean eventually some of those stats do matter i'm not entirely sure a lot of those stats may be fake but they also have special stats like physical damage and all those kinds of things which eventually i think should have some effect now the prizes these prizes are actually top tier rewarding right here I i'm not even joking so one of these purple boxes is 55 anima 55 so this reward for first prize is 165 and this one is 55 and you can play this event i do believe 12 times total 12 times i played it four times and two of those times i landed on second prize and then two of the times i landed on this and honestly this was a free 116 anima boxes just for logging in and doing the daily stuff so if this happens the next days this is just gonna be like friggin easy 300 plus anima boxes in those three days for free of course if you um are unlucky and you don't get this and instead just get this is gonna be lower but of course if you get this it's gonna be higher or even a lot higher so honestly 
this is actually one of the better or best things that I have yet seen them give for free uh, in terms of this event. And no, I'm not paid to say it because last time I don't think the rewards were even that good. But I don't think I fully remember, but I don't think the rewards were even that good for this thing. This, this is just freaking crazy good. And then, of course, we have Summer Special. So there are a few things to touch on in terms of this event. First things first, uh, the uh, Rule 6. Discovering a new Summer Special grants Pinwheel X5, which is this thing. And then making the same one grants 1. So uh, you have a few recipes. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you need 7 glasses to get 35 points. And this one is just the basic one. So what will 35 points give you? It's going to give you a custom premium artifact, which is they have never done that. So for them to do something like this, my God, this, this is probably the end of the world. And yes, I'm joking, but it is probably the end of the world. Five years, this is the first time they gave a selectable premium artifact except that you do not require to be lucky for one percent to get this and this is just basically free from just being in that event so honestly kudos to them they're actually i guess changing for the better granting stuff for people to actually enjoy the game be competitive play have fun and stuff like that again kudos to them they are learning like really really learning to just more or less assist people to have fun in the game and perhaps stay longer to play it and of course um, cast irons um, i would select myself anyway appreciate it as well as bill rushes so if you would unlock those uh, seven recipes and you get 12 glasses for free you can easily just get these two rewards which is this eventually we're gonna require it uh, in the future in half a year a year so always i would collect this even from the battle pass thing or whatever it is called silver wing thing and then of course we have potential and artifact stuff we're gonna require those anyway then we have either a mount or a plus three rune stone i don't require mounts so a plus three rune and of course prisms and this is a chance to get a true prism as well even if it's low some people will be bound to actually get a true prism regardless. So for those people, this is actually good. Now, if you play the Summoner Circle, you spend Lenari, you're able to unlock more rewards because you're going to have more glasses. But essentially, this is going to cost quite a bit for you to climb in terms of the rewards. Of course, there are rewards for actually making those glasses as well, but... For a bit more, you get uh, a dragon egg, which is really not that good, I don't think, anymore. This is like more of a reward for newer realms. Then you get a heavenly gifts relic, which is a custom, so you can select this, which is good. Finally, they are starting to give people more selectable heavenly gifts, because quite a lot of people are annoyed they cannot max their reliquaries. A selectable prism, which is also good for people spending that amount of Lenari just to get these. And then we have a new uh, Crown of Gods, uh, I guess, relic. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether this is a shard, but it doesn't look like a box with a shard. So I can kind of assume this is just 90 shards of this specific thing. Which again, pretty friggin... Well, I can't really say good. Uh, it's actually kind of expensive. I think this should go towards like 24,000 Lunari, close to 20, from 20 to 30. There's probably too much math to do. Maybe eventually someone will do it. And the rest is just a special footprint and like 25,000 cast iron, then some anima, some draconic and uh, another uh, border or so. And then, of course, another one of those uh, Crown of Gods. Now, do you see how much anima they're giving out for, like, a very, very far away reward or even other rewards that they're just giving out, right? 
like these rewards don't seem that much uh, those rewards don't even seem that much from just crafting something like this but my god like this one friggin 55 and a chance or a decent chance for 165 because i think i'm not sure that they have chances written in here but in the previous one i got first prizes quite often so we'll see maybe i'm gonna get at least a couple maybe not we're just gonna see what people say about the chances so which rewards should you events uh, rather eventually check if you play this i would only suggest this one we require this box which is cast iron always gonna require it we require cast iron fine steel armaments and quite a lot of people still require relic boxes so majority of this we're going to use but they don't have main prizes but there's also another but these rewards likely have a one to two percent chance of proking so some people are gonna try this and they're gonna hit it many people unlikely to actually hit it I kind of wanted to go for runes because uh, I needed one true ruby and uh, one true emerald. And I thought, man, maybe I'm going to be lucky and I'm just going to get it. No, unfortunately, I got two times the rare prism. And I think I got the rest of the three or four times the draconic dust. And that was it. So there is a small chance for you to get the main reward. So... It is unlikely that you're gonna be landing on the stuff that you do want like even this one these rewards are useless these ones can be useful and this is like a mega prize <clears throat> excuse me so uh out of all of these i would only suggest either the prisms if you really want to try because this you know a huge like boost in terms of lenari because you wouldn't really require to play forest claim or something <clears throat> damn i'm losing my voice god damn it and then you can play this one which is purify anima and potential my god what is happening with my voice <clears throat> and then of course we have the top prize which is the armory materials which always we're gonna require it that feature is friggin broken so i've only unlocked one of those drinks and we have somebody who has shown us all of them that person is named genghis khan so if you want to thank somebody you might as well thank him so the first three pictures is the names that you will require so you might as well want to take a screenshot or just write it down or how it looks or you can remember it it's up to you the names are here for you to remember or again picture and this is the last one and then he did mention it above after i told him that we do still kind of need the names so he took another picture as well and posted again the recipe so again if you want to thank somebody thank him he provided us with all the recipes and it's kudos to him that quite a lot of people may not uh, require to mess up on that non um, recipe thing or whatever the common drink was to get some uh, more or some decent rewards but yeah that's pretty much it for the video do let me know if it did help you out and you didn't make the same mistake as me thanks for watching guys take care and stay safe out there